A very, very happy morning to you, my dear students. Today, we are going to learn something more in grammar. Yes, and what is that topic? Yes, in English grammar, lesson number 11, adjectives. I want you all to look around in your room. How many fans do you find in your room? How many? One, two, yes? Count them? Yes. And what is the color of the dress that you're wearing today? What color dress are you wearing? Yes, maybe pink, red, different children are wearing different kinds, color of dresses. And what about the uh, book that you're having in with you? Or the pencil that you're having with you? Is it a big pencil or a small pencil? Yes? So the answers that you gave me, that is one fan or two fan, the number of the fan or the color of your dress or the size of your pencil, all these describes the noun, okay? And today we are going to learn about describing words, that is adjectives. So children, open your textbook, English grammar textbook, text page 33. And you may take a pencil also in your hand. So already, so we are going to learn about adjectives. What are adjectives, children? Adjectives are words. Just now I told you, you told the number of the fan, two fan. You told the color of your dress, the color. And you told the size of the pencil or the pen that you have with you. So these words that describes the noun, and you know what is noun? Name of things, yes? So these words that describes a noun are called adjectives. Adjectives, therefore, tell us many things about the noun. It tells the number of things, fan that you have, so number of things. It tells the color of the thing or person or place or whatever noun that we are naming. And it also tells the kind, what kind it is. Big, small, beautiful, ugly, yes? So let's look at this picture. So this is example number one for you. Look at the dress that the girl is wearing. Yes, beautiful, isn't it? It is a beautiful dress. And the word beautiful tells us about the kind of the dress. So you will ask yourself, you will first pick out the noun dress. What kind of dress the girl is wearing? And the answer is beautiful dress. So that is a describing word and we call it adjective. Now look at this example. Yes, who is this little girl? Jyoti. Okay, so that is the name of the girl noun. Which is the other noun in this sentence? Girl, common noun, girl. Okay, and what kind of girl is Jyoti? What kind of girl? Kesi ladki hai wo? Intelligent, yes. So the word intelligent tells us about the kind of the girl Jyoti is. So that is the describing word. Now the dress. How many dresses? How many dresses? Two. Yes. So children, the word two tells the number of the dresses. So two, the word two becomes the adjective. Yes, now look at this big table. What kind of table? Table kaisa hai? Big. So big is a describing word. Then there is one more noun, legs. L-E-G-S, legs. How many legs are there? Okay, the number, number of legs are six. So it is also a describing word. So that is also an adjective. So children, adjective, not only the kind, but also the number. In this picture, it mentions six legs. So the number of legs is also an adjective. Now, what about the color? What kind of dress she is wearing? 
and I say red dress. So I'm describing the dress. So even the word red, the color tells us about the type, kind of dress she is wearing. So it's also an adjective. Now again here, Veena has a blue pen. So blue is describing the noun pen. Okay. So, and you will see the adjective always come near to the noun like blue pen. Yes. And the color blue is the adjective. So children, we learned it. That adjective can be placed before the noun like big boy, tall grass or green grass. Or it can be also placed after the noun that describes them. So you will get first, you may find in the sentence an adjective and then the noun. Okay, like big boy, sweet sugar. Yes, so adjective, pele describing word, fir noun milega, or you may also get it as after the noun. Adjective can also be placed before and after the noun. Like you may get an adjective, noun, and an adjective. Like Sudha, beautiful girl, or you can get girl is pretty. So the adjective comes after that. So let's see this example. You will understand it better. You can see the picture. It's a door. So this is a heavy door. What kind of door? The noun is door. So you ask question to the noun. What kind of door? Heavy. So here the adjective is before the noun. Adjective noun se pehle likha hai. Adjective ko noun ke baad bhi lik sakte hai. Like second sentence. The door is. So noun pehle aya. Noun has come first. The door is heavy. So adjective can be written even after the noun. So heavy is the adjective and door is the noun. So I hope now you can do the exercise. So I will help you to solve five. Remaining you will do it on your own. It's a home assignment also for you. So first five, let us do as classwork together along with the teacher. So all your pencils are ready. This exercise is there in your textbook. Okay. So open page 33 and 34. Both the sides. So 33, you get the first five. So all are ready. Pencils in your hand. Let's read what we have to do. Underline the adjective in the following sentence. You have to underline the adjective. And as I told you, to underline the adjective, first look out for the noun. Ask question to the noun. What kind? How many? Or what color? Then you will get the adjective. So let's do first one. The class was very noisy. It's my naming word. What is the name here? What is the noun here? Yes, class. Class is the name of a place. Okay, so class. So C-L-A-S-S -S is the noun. But we have to underline the adjective. So we will ask question to the noun. What kind of class? What kind of class? Class kaisa hai? Noisy. Okay, so the word noisy, you will underline because that is the describing word. That is the adjective. Okay, that is how you do. Second one. It is a warm afternoon. So what is the naming word here? What is a noun? Afternoon. What kind of afternoon it is? Kaisa afternoon hai? Warm. So you will underline the word warm because that is the describing word. That is the adjective. Always remember, adjective will come very close to the noun. Let me help you with the third one also. The garden is beautiful. So children, first what we have to do? Yes, we have to look for the naming word. Correct. What is the naming word here? Kiska name likha hai? Garden. It's the name of a place. Garden. Now ask question. You can ask three kinds of question. What kind of garden? Kesa hai garden? Beautiful. 
Okay, so that is the adjective. Got it? Okay. Next one, number four. The elephant is a huge animal. So what is a noun here? There are two noun, elephant, animal. So what kind of elephant or what kind of animal? Yes, because animal is very, that noun is very close to the adjective. So we will ask question, what kind of animal? Huge animal. So huge is a describing word and the noun is animal because that is the closest one to the adjective. So remaining you will do as homework. Let's check the answers. Cross check the first four that we have done. Yes, Mrs. marked it for you. First one is noisy. Second warm, third beautiful, fourth huge. Remaining you will do without looking at the answer in your textbook and then cross check the answer. Now the next exercise that is there in your book is underline the adjective and circle the noun. Okay, so underline as well as noun go circle karna hai. So how will you do it? Let's do it together. Number one. So you have opened text page 34. Yes. First one. I want two apples. So what is the name of the thing here? Name of the thing, person, place, animal. Name of a thing is there. Apple. So it's a noun. What the name hai. So circle karo. You have to circle it. Now ask question. What kind of apples? Kaisa apple hai? Wo to nahi likha hai. That's not written. Then you ask, how many apples? Two. So that is the describing word. So you will underline it. Done? Yes. Next. The child is happy. What is the name here? What is the noun here? Child. So circle the noun. Yes. Now ask the question. What kind of child? Kaisa bachcha hai? Happy. So happy is the adjective. So underline it. Yes, done. Third one, the giraffe is a tall animal. So what is the name here? Naming word is giraffe. Naming word is animal. Yes. Now ask, what kind of animal is giraffe? What kind of animal? Kaisa animal hai? Tall. So tall becomes the adjective. Okay. Let's do one more and then we'll go to the next exercise. The cake is delicious. What is the name here? Noun, cake. So circle it and then ask the question, what kind of cake? Kesa cake hai? Delicious. So you will underline it. So cross check your answers, children. First four that we have discussed just now. This is how you have to do it. You will underline the adjective to circle the noun apple. Circle second one, circle the child and underline the adjective happy. Third one, you will circle the noun animal and underline the adjective tall. And fourth, noun is cake and adjective is delicious. Remaining you will complete at home in your textbook. Now children, I'll be sending you notes and notes you all know by now that you have to copy the notes in your note. Book. So you will put the date, put the lesson number and write the name of the lesson adjectives and you will copy everything very neatly in your notebook. I'll just explain to you what is the exercise here. Put a noun after each adjective. So Mrs. is given describing word, a cute. So you can put koi bhi ek naan lik sakte. A cute girl. Piyari si, cute girl. Yeah, baby. Okay, next one. A neat, what is neat? Maybe neat dress, a neat table, a neat room, a neat book. Yes, so any noun. That is how you have to do. So I have done the exercise here. You will copy it neatly in your notebook. And question number B. What do you have to do here? Put suitable adjectives that go with the noun. Here, noun diya hai, naam diya hai. Aapko adjective likhna hai. Yes, you have to write the adjective. Like the name is boy. 
So you have to describe the boy, tall boy, short boy, clever boy, intelligent boy. So any adjective you can put. Mrs. For example, put one one. You can even opt to write on your own adjectives for these nouns. Second one like what kind of girl? Girl is a noun. Tall girl, short girl, pretty girl, beautiful girl, any adjective. Okay, so do this in your notebook neatly. Do complete your notes, children. I'll be calling for the notes and there is marks for your submission of notes. Neat, tidy work. Okay, so happy learning. God bless you all.